So it's far went to the police station. Hmm. I'm joking. I'm totally joking. Just a joke. Hi guys and welcome back to the Wacko's Review. So please if you're not subscribed, subscribe, drop a like, turn on post notifications so anytime I post a video you'll be able to see it first hand. I posted a video yesterday if you've not seen it to go and see it. Or without wasting your time, let's just get straight into the video. Like me, I'm a bad thing. Hey! And now the peninsula. Give me some sugar, baby. Stop, stop. The only reason I played that clip was just because of the. Give me some sugar, baby. That, that was the only reason I played it. So if you guys are waiting for me to show you kissing scene, this is what? Christian Chan Chan. So first of all, I have to say this episode of Sugar Episode 8 has been one of the most serious episodes ever. So I guess I have to be serious with this thing. But the only problem I have is why is it that they are only talking about girls? Why? Girls this, girls that. We guys, we also have enough problems. MTV, why are you not talking about guys? What is that? Is that a guy? That's the guy. Okay, please don't talk about guys again. Don't, don't. Sorry. Adiza. Adiza in this episode, we see her where she left us from the previous episode where she ran away and we do not hear that speech. I'm still on it. MTV, if you think you want to put the speech in like episode 10 or 9, please do. We are not complaining. Let's just hear that speech. So this is a continuation of where she left us from the previous episode where she ran away. And for a moment there, I really thought that she went to another state since that's what she does best. So she goes to teacher Yasmin's house. And if everybody here can recall, teacher Yasmin and her husband, have, they've been trying to like <laughs> get it down. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Try to get it down. And I guess today was the day because as soon as she came and she sat down, the husband could not take it anymore and he just told her I was able to read his mind and this was what was going through his mind before he even said that to him. So much trying to enjoy himself. This one just hit So I just hit you know we should say this um God what the hell is happening here. Remember you're taking me out soon. Yeah, so the next time we see Hadiza, Hadiza is in school working with her friend and then she sees her mom, her father, her husband and her baby and she's shocked. I don't know why she's shocked. Side note, who else watching this thing feels that Hadiza's dad is one of the most scariest characters I've ever seen in my life? I'm Hadiza Tazama, one of the best students. I'm a current tenter. I beg you, we've not heard any speech. Don't be telling us that one. So Hadiza finally confronts her dad, saying that she wants to finish school. And for the people who did not watch this part well, like people who can't read subtitles, I will I will narrate this thing out for you so you you will know. My child, your husband is here. It's beside me. It's time for you to go back to the north. Dad! I ain't going anywhere. I ain't. I ain't. Dad, spell it with me. I, I, I ain't. I ain't going anywhere with you, Dad. And yes, for dad's voice, I use that animal voice because I have great respect for people from the north. So I don't want to even try and attempt the accent. It would be a huge disrespect if you, if you know what I mean. So we see in later clips where the dad seems to have like been able to slap the dust out of her and teacher teacher Yasmin is trying to call so I guess they finally bundled her and then they sent her to the north. Frances and, and Cynthia. Cynthia. First, before I say anything, I saw a lot of people telling me This is not Francis! It's Frances! Francis is a guy's name! I know, see guys, see I purposely called her Francis. Because I knew I had articulate people, I knew people who correct me. It was all on purpose. Like, look at the bigger picture. Have I ever made a mistake in my life before? Do you know who I am? Okay, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I, I, I'm very sorry. All we see in this episode is the fact that MTV has taken two characters and they've updated their characters better. If you think I'm lying, Frances went from being a very soft girl in episode one to like six. So now being a more softer girl, like here and here, look at you. 
Look at you. Why are you crying? Are you not tired of crying? What's wrong with you? You and Francis have been talking to her in corners. You told her everything, Abby. See. Cynthia is still Cynthia. Just Cynthia is still Cynthia. So even if somebody drinks gin after having sex, they can still get pregnant. Of course. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What? Oh my god, it doesn't work. Ah. Ah, there's a problem. There's a problem. Pick up, pick up. Hello? Oh, there's no prince. Gladys. Gladys, there's no prince. Have you done that gin stuff that I told you to do? What gin? Like, why are you why are you acting like you're dumb? That gin stuff. Yes, I just did it a few seconds ago. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what? What is wrong? Please you're scaring me. Please. It obviously works now. She? Jean and that stuff obviously works now, eh? Bad man, bad <laughs> Kill the show, man, <laughs> <laughs> Jean! I see nothing! I was not here! I did not even get up this morning! <laughs> Lila and Fa. So guys, this is where I take everything more seriously. For Fa, Fa was raped and it shows that Toby is worse than a beast. The fact that he saw her lying down there and did not help her in any way. And this is the girl that he has <coughs> slept with. Fa goes to the hospital to take some pills that will help her prevent HIV. Frances did not do the same thing or she did not have the chance to do the same thing because she was scared that her mom and her parents would actually flog her. Yes, there's nothing more scarier than that. HIV, get out. It's get out other sexual infections get out who cares she may be go police station then what can you i go back to looking for dancing jobs go back to my singing to my recording contract see you get another opportunity somewhere else no because i don't take get out before can you i just say you know when rich people say this money my son it doesn't buy you happiness shut the fuck up! So now she's sitting down and having a meeting and they give her money and this is where it finally hits her because she was pondering about this thing from her facial expressions. She realized that, okay, even though this is what I really want, she wasn't ready to face the constant abuse she's going to take because we could see from this bad guy that he wasn't done. <laughs> I'm not laughing because of, I'm not, see, stop, I'm not laughing, I'm just, I, he wasn't done, that's what I meant. Toby saw what Bada did, right? He was a witness. Okay, now, now listen, listen. If this guy, Ahiz, yes, Ahiz, the guy that was giving her ideas to snitch and everything. So if this guy was giving her advice and if this guy is known as a studio rat, why is it that he was in the meeting? He's obviously not her manager and nobody should even start saying Maybe they, they say that she, he, he was a manager No, he's not a manager. We all know he's not a manager. She, she manages herself. When last did she have intercourse? Um, about a week ago. I'm afraid it's too late. We are usually happy to provide them. But the post-sex pills must be used as soon as possible and not later than five days after intercourse. So let's talk about Leela. In this episode, we see that Toby has finally done what guys used to do to a lot of girls I when sure. they sign up. I can't see my period! Then go and find it. Go and find it. Toby, I'm supposed to be leaving for school soon. That's why you want an abortion, right? When did I say that? You know what? I'm going to put some money into your account, okay? Enough for you to take care of it. So he denies, like, he doesn't, like, deny everything, but he does that uh, douchebag thing of, I'll pay for everything. I guess I should even use this for Gladys, but, but I don't have money. I have money now. What, what do I do? Eh? Ah, God. When you go to Google to search for your problems, you know that it is out of hand. Like, nobody can help you. Because I'm... Um, I'm also doing the same thing at the moment. He denies her totally and now we see her in one of the funniest things I've ever seen in this whole episode where she runs from one place to another looking for drugs.
she finally decides to call the worst person for advice the gene problem diane she calls diane and diane gives her some shitty tips there are many things you can use see you can use vodka pure that has high alcohol what or you know we can also mix powdered potash and alligator pepper babe i've used that already it doesn't work give me another idea give me another idea Doesn't he have a name? Ah, uh -uh. yes. Now, don't put the man in trouble. Can I have those drugs? From this moment, we already know that Lila may try and use it. We don't know for sure, but I pray she doesn't find her period because she actually needs to learn. All her sister has to do what she has to do. Nothing's gonna change if you get what I mean. So now this episode is very long, so it's going to take me so long to even try and edit it. So I hope it's funny. So please just give me your expectations because if I add my own expectations, it's going to make the video more longer and that's not what I want. I want you guys to all watch it with your MB because even myself, I know the MB like that. So like posting this is going to be a big problem. So tell me guys your own expectations and please if you've not subscribed, subscribe, turn on post notifications so as soon as I drop any video, you'll be able to get it first hand. Uh, leave a like, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye!